coming up. The J's and the A's, a game for the ages in the ALCS. The NLCS as well, where Barry Bonds finally breaks out. Dion doing double duty. The Eagles turned head over heels by the Chiefs, and Al McKinnis helping set the flames of fire. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Sports. Hope you're enjoying your uh, Thanksgiving Day weekend, and I think, Gino, some uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, turkeys on this Sunday were probably uh, eaten in front of a television set. Dinner got a little cold as we were watching all the <laughs> ball games on TV. Yeah, some of the guys brought it in, and we uh, did like you. Uh, we watched the Jays uh, and the athletics in front of the TV. And if you were not able to get away from the dinner table and to your television set, and you didn't see this game, you arguably missed the biggest win in Toronto Blue Jay franchise history to date. They were counting on a big start from Jack Morris, but they did not get it. The A's looked at Dennis Eckersley to hold on to a big lead. That did not happen. The story, plenty of great defense and loads of clutch hitting in this ball game. The fireworks started early. John Olerud, second inning. Ricky Henderson goes back, and it is gone. Solo shot, Jays lead 1-0. But the A's get to Jack Morris in the third inning. Ricky Henderson at the plate. Breaks out of a slump by sending this one down into left field. It will drop in. Mike Bordick rounds third, comes in, and beats the throw easily, tying the game at one. Then the score, 2-1. Harold Bain grips a shot by Kelly Gruber at third. No chance for Gruber. A's lead three to one. After Morris walks in another run, Carly La Carney Lansford at the plate. A tapper over the mound. Lee bobbles, throws the first. Too late. Oakland sends ten men to the plate and scores five runs in the third. That is it for Jack Morris. Gone after three and a third. Score six two. Dennis Eckersley in to shut things down in relief in the eighth inning. But the Jays get to him. John Oler run scoring single up the middle. Then Candy Maldonado, RBI single to right field. Dave Winfield scores. It's 6-4. Oakland still rather comfortably in front with runners in second and third. Eckersley facing Ed Sprague, and yes, he retires the side with a strikeout. Move to the ninth. Devon White gets to third when Ricky Henderson misplays this single. That sets the stage for Robbie Alomar. This is gone. A two-run shot, no doubt about it. Go back, but forget about it. Ties the game at six. The excitement continues. Bottom of the ninth inning now. Eric Fox is on third base, one out. Terry Steinbach with a ground ball. Should score the run, but Alomar charges, throws home, and Fox is dead on arrival. We go to extra innings. Move to the 10th inning now. Runner, second and third. Dave Winfield pops one up to foul territory in left field. Everyone giving the extra effort in this ball game because it's so key. Mike Bordick, outstanding catch in the big foul territory. Now to the 11th inning. Derek Bell on third. Nobody out. Kelly Gruber sends a shot to right. Should score the run, but Mark McGuire, outstanding D. It just keeps on going and going. Next batter, Pat Borders. Liner to left field. Ricky Henderson makes the catch. Derek Bell comes home. Here comes the throw, and Bell scores the go-ahead run. Jay fans thrilled. 7-6 Toronto. Unbelievable. Bottom of the 11th. Tom Hankey is in, in relief. McGuire pops it up. Devo says it's mine, and it is over. Dave Winfield high fives all around unbelievable game a game for the ALCS in 1992 don't forget this game it took 11 for the Jays defeat the A's by a score of seven to six the Toronto Blue Jays now lead the series three games to one the Jays are the first playoff team ever to overcome a five-run deficit after the seventh inning and come back and win it our Rod Smith was lucky enough to be at the game and he's got this post-game report for us in a series that has been full of dramatic moments, the most dramatic came today with Roberto Alomar's ninth inning home run. Not only did it bring the Jays all the way back, not only did it cap off a great day for Alomar, but it also silenced one of the best guns in baseball, Dennis Eckersley. I'll say again, I mean, I respect Sandy, I mean Sandy, I mean, Roberto as much as any player, he's a great player, one of the best. Somebody's going to take me deep, you know, might as well be a great player like him. It's a great feeling, you know, as soon as I hit it, I knew it was going. I put, I put my arms up, you know, it's, it's always fun to beat one of the best relievers in baseball. I wish I could tell you that my arm was hanging and, uh, and uh, I have no velocity and all that, but uh, when you get beat and you get hit hard, you just have to take it. Take it like a man, swallow it, you know what I mean? Sometimes uh, you have to be pro, and, and uh, today's my day. This is just, it's a very, very good team. Um, it's not any team you've seen in the past. It's the same organization, same logo, same city and all that. It's a different bunch of guys. 
guys that uh, played together well to get us here and continue to do so. I always knew the Blue Jays that, you know, they're about it. <clears throat> they're always about it. They always, you know, give you nine innings, you know, nine hard innings. They never give up. And that's the main thing, that Blue Jays never get up. So we have to tell ourselves we just have to keep battling until the last out, and that's what they did. Everybody I've ever played for is a winner. And, uh, but this is a big win for us. To come back, we were down 6-1. to one. I mean, it would have been easy just to roll over and say, well, let's get them tomorrow. And, uh, but we didn't. We just kept battling and kept chipping away. And, uh, you know, uh, it was just a big win. And he got him. Personally, I, I have a lot of respect for Eck. Uh, you know, what he's accomplished is phenomenal. But for what, you know, the man ought to know better. He's been through it so many times. And I know people, that I'm not the first guy that's brought it to his attention. And I'm not, you know, I'm not here to be the one to slap his hand. I mean, I just think he got what he deserved today. That's all. We've got to beat Cone tomorrow. So that's all. And i got to try to sleep tonight. That's what i got to do. It's the first time in league championship history that a team five runs down after seven innings has come back to win. But that pales to what it might mean to Jays history. This game has once again established them as a team of character. And it might be the blow that is too devastating for the A's to recover from. The Jays can advance to the World Series with one more victory. Rod Smith, TSN, in Oakland. Thanks very much, Rod. And the man who can take the Blue Jays to the World Series with one more victory, David Cohn, takes the mound. He won his first game in the ALCS this season. He'll be facing Dave Stewart, who is still without a record for the A's this postseason. As we say, the Jays, one more win, and they are headed to the World Series. Gino, desperate times call for desperate measures, and believe me, the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates are desperate, and that is with a capital D. The Pirates down 3-1 to Atlanta, playing for their baseball lives, reached into the bullpen for Bob Walk, as he got the start tonight in Game 5 against the Braves. Pittsburgh desperately needing something from their big hitters, Barry Bonds, Andy Van Slyke. They were 5 for 27 in the first four games. And finally, they did get some production because the Pirates jump out in front of the first. Jay Bell singles up the middle. Gary Riedels will score to make it 1-0 for Pittsburgh. Now, later in the inning, Barry Bonds, finally, finally, Barry breaks out. Double to right center. That'll score Bell. And as Bond chugs into second, he says... Son of a gun, it's been a long time coming, long time. Then with the score, 3-0, Lloyd McClendon will hit the Pirates' fourth double of the inning. Playoff record, knocking out Steve Avery after only a third. As Deion Sanders looks on, hey, no football uniform, it's baseball now, and Bonds doing it in the field as well. Ron Gant strokes one to right center, and watch Bonds. Yes, great running catch. Things not going Atlanta's way. Here, Terry Pendleton, chopper off the plate. Watch him run inside the baseline as Don Slot's throw is high. And he is called out. And Bobby Cox can't believe it. Robbie Cox onto the sixth now. Gary Reedus continues to swim. The hot back double to left, drives in another run. Hey, the Pirates, the Pirates, they're still alive. As they play in the eighth. And it is the Pirates up. Seven nothing over Atlanta as they try to narrow it to three to two. I agree with you, arguably uh, one of the best games that uh, had everybody right on the edge of their seat. You know, so much talk about the Blue Jays choking in the past, but you really cannot talk about this no matter what happens from here on in the rest of the series. Jays down 6-2, to two. you're facing Eckersley, mm -hmm. thinking, ball game's over. Right. Huge comeback. Yeah, the same thing. I mean, here you had two pitchers. I mean, you had Heckersley, Eckersley, rather, who the Blue Jays, you would think, couldn't hit. And then you had Morris, uh, somebody that's pitched very well. I'll tell you what this does, though. I think Morris did have a tired arm. And if the Blue Jays do wrap it up and don't have to go to a seven, this will give Jack a big, big opportunity to rest it for the series. Ideally. And as it looks right now, Atlanta likely going to make it through to the World Series. And if they go to the World Series, Jack Morris had a lot of success against the Braves last year. All right. When we come back, Sunday, CFL action in Saskatchewan. The Hamilton Ticats against the Rough Riders at a very windy Taylor Field. And ordinarily, it's home field advantage for the Riders, but not on this day. Not at all. We also have week six in the NFL for you. Scores and highlights, yes, count them all. Get your shoes off. We're going to go to 10 cities when we come back.
Good evening, everybody. I'm George Michael, and welcome to The Sports Machine. Tonight, through the use of The Sports Machine, the Kansas City defense flies through the Eagles. Speaking of flying, stuntman Brian Carson demonstrates his incredible corkscrew jump tonight. And baseball's greatest thieves, they make their living flying through the air, like Mike Devereaux. Tonight is home run robbers on the sports machine. Well, while the Pirates were battling the Braves in Game 5 of the National League playoffs trying to stave off elimination, the Blue Jays pull off one of the greatest, one of the most memorable and dramatic comebacks in playoff history. Roberto Alomar, folks, a two-run home run in the ninth inning that will forever be remembered, I think, is the spark which ignited the Blue Jays to a 7-6 victory over the Athletics in 11 innings. Toronto now leads that series three games to one. All those who had that cemetery gravesite for the Blue Jays, you're out of luck. Let's go to the, the game in the bottom of the sixth inning. The A's are leading in this game 5-1. to one. Now this is Ruben Sierra at the plate. And everybody's figuring, uh-oh, Joe Carter can't get that one. This is going to be a blowout. Ricky Henderson walks home easily. Make it 6-1 to one, Oakland Athletics. And Ricky says, boy, drive me in, Ruben. We're on a roll. But in the top of the ninth inning, Blue Jays trail 6-4. to four. Devon White to left field. Ricky Henderson doesn't make the catch. The ball gets by him. That'll be a base hit, plus a two-base air all the way into third would go Devon White. So the next batter with a runner on third is now the tying run. Roberto Alomar facing Dennis Eckersley. Eckersley, the man who's always the fireman. Alomar knew as soon as he hit it. He said, we got a tie ball game. Sierra can only watch it go into the bleachers. Two-run home run. Blue Jays erase a five-run deficit at the expense of Dennis Eckersley. Now let's go to the top of the 10th inning. It's tied 6-6, 2-1. Dave Winfield is up. Winfield with a high pop outside of third. Looked like nobody would get it. Mike Bordick on the run. Look at this catch. What a great catch by Mike Bordick of the Athletics. That would put us all the way into the 11th inning. Now we're in the top of the 11th inning. We're tied 6-6, 2 on, 1 out. Pat Borders, fly ball, medium deep left field. Ricky Henderson with the catch. Here comes Derek Bell. The throw is not in time. The Blue Jays beat the Athletics 7-6, lead the series three games to one. Dennis Eckersley roughed up for five hits and two runs. He offered no excuses, says you got to be a man. I wish I could tell you that this my arm was hanging and, uh, and uh, I have no velocity and all that, but uh, when you get beat and you get hit hard, you just have to take it. Take it like a man, swallow it, you know what I mean? Sometimes uh, you have to be pro, and, and uh, today's my day. 